how we are going to balance the redox reaction in basic medium. Okay, step number one. We have to identify which one is undergo oxidation, which one will undergo reduction. Let's look at to the couples here. Okay, we have Mn and Mn2+. plus. Then C2O2- minus and CO2. So, in order to know, it is either MnO4- minus to Mn2+, plus or C2O4- minus to CO2 undergo oxidation or reduction. We need to calculate the oxidation number. Let us calculate the oxidation number for C2O4-2 minus. If for C2O4-2 minus, okay, we have carbon to oxygen 4. Okay, and then the charge is negative 2. Okay, so for this one, we have 2 carbon plus 4 the oxidation number for oxygen is always negative 2 and then it is equal to negative 2 so 2 C is equal to negative 2 plus 8 therefore C is equal to the oxidation number for C is equal to positive 3 ok for CO2 carbon plus 2 oxygen it is equal to 0 so carbon it is equal to positive 4. So if we are look at to positive 3 and a positive 4, the oxidation number is increased. Therefore, C2O4 <coughs> <coughs> therefore C2O4 to minus 2 CO2, the carbon undergo oxidation. While Mn O4 to minus from the oxidation number mangas here is positive 7 here is become positive 2 so undergo reduction okay next step what you need to do is you are going to write the half equation for uh, both equation here okay so you will start with the Oxidation and then you will write the equation for reduction. Okay, for oxidation, we do have carbon to O4 to minus. It have been oxidized from positive 3 to positive 4 become CO2 okay while for reduction we have just now Mn O4 minus 2 Mn 2 plus okay what is what next step we need to balance the atom which atom the metal atom okay in this case carbon is not metal so mangan here we have one on the right side we have another one this so balance one to one the okay, next balance non metal atom except oxygen and hydrogen so here we have two carbon here we have one carbon we put here two so carbon balance Okay, next, we need to balance the oxygen. Here we have 4 oxygen. On the 
right side also we have four oxygen so the oxygen balance okay so for oxidation reaction equation for oxidation reaction equation uh, all the atoms have been balanced okay now look at to the, the reduction here we have four oxygen on the right side we don't have any oxygen so in order to balance the oxygen we need to add water but how much water that we are going need to add it depend on number of oxygen atom here if we do have four oxygen atom on the left side so on the right side we need to have four oxygen atoms so we are only have one oxygen atom how many water molecule need to add it De depends on the oxygen needed so we put four now on the left side we don't have hydrogen here we have eight hydrogen so we need to add up with eight H plus ion okay counter check all the atom so now if you are counter check all the atom all the atom have been balanced now look at to the charge okay we are good now we are going to balance the charge okay if you are looking to the charge for oxidation here you have negative two while on the right side you have the charge is zero so when we are going to balance the charge we need to add electron electron having a negative charge so if you are at the negative to the negative side here it becomes as a more negative so where you are going to add up you add up on the right side with two electron when i add two electron here so the charge is negative two so negative two and negative two is balanced okay what happened for reduction equation for reduction equation mn o4 minus so this is negative one 8h plus so it is a positive 8 mn2 plus it is a positive 2 here is 0 okay so total here is a positive 7 here is positive 2 so how to make it the charge is balanced positive 7 to positive 2 or positive 2 to positive 7 bear in mind the electron 2 or 5 or any number of electron here the electron is always having a negative charge okay so if we are at two electron on the right side so the total electron is become zero sorry the total charge is become zero if we are at two electron on the left side, the total charge is become positive five. So, in order to balance seven and five, the difference is sorry. In order to balance positive seven and the positive two, the difference between seven and two is five. So I add up here as a five electron. Okay, then we put here five electron. So, counter check in the back. Okay, now negative 1, positive 8, negative 5, positive 2. Here is positive 2, so balance. Okay, now to make it easier, we take to both of the electron for both reaction, oxidation and the reduction. Okay, our focus now is on the electron okay in order to add up these two we need to cancel out the electron here we have five electron here we have two electron so in order to balance the electron for the both oxidation and reduction oxidation we will produce the electron while reduction we accept the electron in order to balance the uh, producing and accepting the electron so we need to multiply all the equation by 5 here while for the reduction we need to multiply by 2 okay 
Okay, after we have multiply, we got oxidation. Five C two O four two minus will be produced ten C O two plus ten electric. For reduction, we have two M N O four minus plus sixteen H plus plus ten electron, and then produce two M N two plus plus eight. H2O. Okay. Now we are going to add up the both of oxidation and reduction equation. Okay. The line here, the line here drawn to show that you are add up these two equation. Line here mean that you are add up these two equation. Okay. So this is overall. Reaction. Okay, so if we look at to the equation on the left side, we have ten electron. On the right side, we have ten electron. So the electron can be cancelled out. Then we will have five mu C two O four two minus react with two M N O four minus plus sixteen H plus produced. Ten CO two plus two MN two plus plus eight H two O. Okay. Now, let us counter check the one that we have done. Here we have ten carbon. Here we have ten carbon. Here we have two MN. Here we have two MN. Here we do have sixteen H plus. Here we have sixteen H plus. After that, here we have twenty oxygen plus eight twenty eight oxygen. Here we have twenty twenty eight oxygen. Charge here negative ten plus negative two negative twelve negative twelve plus positive sixteen positive four. Here is a positive four, so direction have been balanced. Okay, but 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 look at two H plus H plus here is the source of acid. Now we are going to change H plus to OH minus. We are going to change from acid to basic. So in order to change Acid to basic. What we need to do here is we need to add OH minus ion on both side. Okay. So if we do have sixteen H plus here, we will add sixteen. OH minus on the left side, while we are also at sixteen OH minus on the right side. Let's us rewrite all the equation. Okay, now I have five C two O four two minus plus two M N O four minus plus. Sixteen H plus plus sixteen O H minus produce ten C O two plus two M N two plus plus eight H two O plus sixteen O H minus. Okay, now let's look at to the focus here. Okay, look at to. Sixteen H plus and sixteen O H minus. Sixteen H plus and sixteen O H minus will become as a sixteen H two O. So if you do have sixteen H two O here, and the sixteen H two O on the right side, so we can cancel out the 
16H2O become as a 8H2O on the left side and no more H2O on the is the one that shows the solution in basic solution with the OH minus.